Ready to repeat everything. <laughs> Probably gonna get a phone call and answer it, most likely. About alligator meat for bait. <laughs> Catch 365 tip with Todd from Juno Bait and Trey, also from Juno Bait. So, do you ever like think like I really want to go fishing, like, and you look at the tide and the tide's wrong, and you're like, well, I'm still gonna go. And then you're like, oh, it's raining and the tide's wrong, and you're like. Still gonna go. This is like our everyday conversation. Well, this was last night, right? Yeah, like yeah. last night, I'm like, so you said no, no. I looked at the tide everywhere, and it was wrong, and I was still gonna go. And then I looked at my truck and thought somebody just pulled up. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the tide, the tide, and then it's raining. I'm like, I'm still gonna go. And I didn't have a fishing pole at the house, and I was like, I'm gonna. And then I started watching YouTube, and well, I didn't go <laughs> because I mean. Why would you go fishing when you could watch a tour of Paul Kufaro's new house? Yeah. Oh my god. And then I started watching like I started watching videos of like Peter McKinnon. He's this guy from Canada. He's a filmmaker, photographer, and I was like, I want to make videos like that. Damn you, Peter McKinnon. <laughs> Damn you, Paul, in your new house, distracting me from going fishing. But I I digress. You can tell when I'm not prepared for the Catch 365 tips when you end up with like this vlog like randomness to it. Like I, in my mind, we were totally gonna like have all these filmed out and like ready to go and like edited nicely and all. Yeah, but that <laughs> that just didn't happen. Snooze no. fest, yeah. Yeah, but but we do have a good tip today. So one of the things in the Catch 365 thing that I really had like high plans for and still am rolling with and want to do is the beginner fishing, because you know the snook tips, the offshore tips, all those lure things. Those are good, but one of the things that I was most excited about was like helping people get going. And we have it all the time. People come in and they want to, I'm not, I'm in the camera? Okay, good. I'm trying to keep <laughs> kind of sort of, I better, better stay up here in the camera. Not that it really matters. Yeah. I'm in it right in it, now, <laughs> Right there. So, but the beginner fishing is tough because there's so much to it. Like I was thinking about it on the ride to work today. I, I was actually doing the math on how old I'm going to turn next week. I was like, no, no, I was born in even some, I added a year somewhere. I'll be 37, not 38. But luckily I can do math still, so got it. But I figured somewhere, I've got somewhere around, I don't know, probably close to 30 years invested in South Florida fishing through all different ways. And I know you grew up fishing some in Colorado and different stuff, and now you're what, 12, 13 years here in Florida? Something like that? Three, 12, around 12. 12-ish, yeah. you know. And you've done an amazing job of like the information that you've kind of managed to get through. But I mean, there's a lot of time invested in that, you know, and, and my range is like a little bit bigger because I've got a little more offshore stuff mixed in and, you know, I have like just different stuff. And yours is great for what you've come up with snook fishing wise. And anyway, backstory, you know, we're not just two morons here, just like random, like we actually have some working experience with some of this. So for beginner fishing though, it's tough because people come in and there's, especially for us in South Florida, there's so many different things. Like we could have somebody one day who's intercoastal or surf, offshore. I mean, there's the range is huge. So it's not like there's a set answer, like take this, take this, go fishing. And you know, we probably have like kind of have a little bit where some people have gotten that if they don't really know, but, but we have a lot of helpful information and we're gonna try and get that out throughout the year and beyond and we're gonna try and go base, like I talked about, like a basic spinning rod to start with and a basic rig, and we're gonna like build off those basic blocks because you need that stuff to really kind of get going. So today, I wanna talk about the two most basic rigs for South Florida that'll cover you almost everywhere. And I hit on the one before, and that was the slide rig or the Carolina rig. This is a mini tied version here where you have hook, come on camera, Get into focus there. It's trying to focus, I think, on my face. Come on, the, focus on the hook. Hook, leader, weight above the swivel that will slide freely. This rig is fantastic for kind of everything. This is an intercoastal rig. You can use it um, with all different kinds of bait. You know, the idea behind this is the weight lays on the bottom. The line can move freely through the sinker. Fish can pick up and swim off with it. So you use this on the pier. I actually talked a little bit about this rig yesterday for snook fishing on the pier. So it can be modified as far as the weight, 
the hook size, leader size to fit everything that you're doing. Um, it's the most popular rig for catching smaller fish on the pier, croakers, whiting, sand perch, all that kind of stuff. But the with this rig, it's not a surf rig. It rolls around. The weight, you know, the egg sinker is going to move. So it's a rig that you need to use when you are holding the rod. It's not something you're going to throw out, leave in this rod holder. You know, if you're surf fishing, it'll wash back up on the beach in no time. But it's a great, versatile rig. For beginner surf fishing and all around, you want to go with what is also referred to by a lot of different names, but it's going to be a snapper croaker, pompano rig, high-low rig, where you have weight at the bottom, a couple of dropper loops, and a swivel. And comes in, like I said, a lot of different names. Tackle Crafters makes some of the best rigs out there. The Snapper Croaker rig is probably our best selling rig. It's got other names. Like I said, Bait Holder rig is very similar. Pompano rigs are the same idea. They have floats added to them, but those are gonna be your surf rigs. And with those rigs, the weights at the bottom, you're gonna use a pyramid sinker. That's gonna sit in the ground better so you can throw that out and leave that out and put in a rod holder. You can use it in the intercoastal too if you don't want your rig to move around. Great rig for when the rod's going in the rod holder and you're not holding it all the time. Um, with both of them, that you can use a lot of different baits. Shrimp is gonna be your best all around bait anywhere you go in South Florida, any day of the year for catching everything. And we have some video and some information coming about using shrimp differently, both frozen and live uh, for beginner fishing purposes. But those two rigs, the um, Ghost Leader and or, you know, you call it a Live Shrimp Leader from Tackle Crafters, you can get those already made up. Egg sinker above the swivel, swivel, leader hook, very versatile. And then Snapper Croaker Rig for when you just basically want to put the rod down and forget about it. Those two rigs will cover you, like literally almost everything South Florida fishing-wise. So... Keep those in the tackle box. When you're starting out, start with those and then build off of those and they are totally gonna work for you. Any thoughts? Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>